so in terms of the cultivation of of virtue, you know, which is maybe part of moral formation, um, personal character, the cultivation of character. Um, what did that look like in the different homeschooling families that you interviewed kind of across, maybe across both of those two groups? Yeah. So, um, I think that I'll, maybe I'll, I'll talk more about those two groups as I answer this question. So, um, let me start with the sort of expressivist moral framework group. Mm -hmm. Um, and those were largely people that were not homeschooling for religious reasons. Okay. Not always. In, in some cases, those might represent some religious people. But um, the most important thing for this group in terms of why they're homeschooling was uh, to develop the student's sense of self. Mm -hmm. So, And the problem with schooling for this group is that the structures of school actually stifle the curiosity of the individual learner. Mm -hmm. So they force the individual, school forces the individual learner into certain kinds of boxes, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. we learn to sit in our desk and we learn to take tests and we learn to, you know, nod our head yes or raise our hand. Um, and it's a highly kind of conformist model for, yeah. for, for these homeschoolers. And so the purpose of homeschooling is to actually free ourselves from that kind of um, box fitting that school does for us. And so uh, what homeschool can allow these uh, families to do is simply let the child grow in his or her natural environment. Yeah. And so if, you know, if I'm a young child um, and I'm interested in dinosaurs, you know, and um, then we can, let's do a deep dive in dinosaurs. Maybe we'll visit the Natural History Museum and we'll read lots of books. Um, and then if I, you know, Maybe a month later, I'm interested in the in the American Revolution. We can move that direction, but it's really guided by the interests of the student. Yeah. And for for these individuals, um, you're you're trying to cultivate in the child um, his or her own interests mm -hmm. and um, a desire to learn mm -hmm. that can be tapped by you know allowing the the child to scratch the various kinds of curiosities that might emerge from the child. And so um, when it comes to the um, what, what we call private virtue in, in, um, in the book, uh, you're trying to form in the child um, a sense of their own sense of what's right and what's wrong and, and and allow their learning and their interests to kind of um, blossom. And so what you're trying to avoid is uh, peer influences, right? So in, in many of these um, expressivist families, uh, their main concern or, or a main, con main concern is the way in which school environment might force um, assumptions of youth culture. So um, maybe wearing the right kinds of clothes or having the right kinds of right. Uh, things, material things, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, what they're trying to cultivate is an understanding, um, an, an individual understanding of the child's sense of identity apart from what these families might identify as negative messages that the school might receive. Yeah. Um, so the fact that a teenage girl isn't as um, worried about what she may wear or how she may look is, you know, uh, a kind of moral virtue in mm -hmm. families like this. Mm -hmm. um, and the homeschooling environment actually enables them to um, to cultivate that mm -hmm. apart from what they might perceive as negative influences from peer culture in a school. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, on the other side, the the more um, theistic frameworks, um, you know, their understanding of what it means to be a good person uh, comes largely from their um, religious traditions, whatever yeah. they may be, right? Mm -hmm. And so what homeschooling allows those families to do is, is um, create an environment in which those virtues are celebrated. And so whether that's, um, you know, uh, a kind of personal 
spiritual habit of prayer or um, reading scriptures uh, or uh, even studying scriptures, uh, those things can all happen in the homeschooling environment in ways that they might not in a traditional school. Sure. Um, and the parents can continually reinforce the value or importance of those kinds of practices. Um, and so habits that get developed um, can produce virtues that are important for those traditions.